Man, it gets pretty cold out here. I'm glad I picked up this hand warmer. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, winter is here. And so I picked up this Okupa hand warmer. It's rechargeable, it's electric. I've had some of the air activated hand warmers. I still have them because they're pretty nice. And you kind of just shake them, but they take a while to get warm. And what I've noticed is that, you know, when it's pretty cold, they're working, but you don't really feel them that much. But I do like these rechargeable ones because one, they seem to get pretty warm. And two, they're really easy to use and you kind of get instant heat. So I thought I would do a true unboxing of this here. Just open this little bad boy up and we will see what we get inside here. There it is. Looks like we get a little user manual right there. And it looks like we can extend our warranty if we wanted to. We also get this little silicone lanyard, which is kind of nice if you want to put it around your wrist. And then in this little sleeve, looks like we get some other stuff. One, a little drawstring pouch to carry it around, which is kind of nice. And then we also get a USB-C charging cable right there. That's kind of nice. I actually like the fact that they are USB-C as opposed to micro USB. It doesn't transfer the power as quickly. So here's the hand warmer. It's kind of cool looking. It's like Stormtrooper-ish. It's white and black. This black part is kind of velvety. It's a soft touch plastic. It's actually pretty smooth. I mean, it kind of, it feels really nice in the hand because it's got really rounded edges. It's very organic shape. You can see on the front here, we have the USB-C port. We also have a USB port right there. So I think you could charge your phone or another device off of it if you really needed to. Looks like we actually have a micro USB right there. So in a pinch, if you don't have the USB-C cable, you could charge it potentially off micro USB, which is kind of cool too. The lanyard hole is right there. Uh, the white plastic here is all kind of like a harder white plastic. And then it looks like we have a button right there and little LEDs. So if I hold it down, looks like level one level two and level three and okay man i don't know how it works but it's already getting warm uh, i did not kind of expect that and i can feel the heat right here mostly so that's pretty awesome man the part of the problem with those metal shaving hand warmers is that they have to react it's basically kind of a rusting effect that creates the heat it's like this exothermic reaction that produces the heat and one it can be a little slow and two it can almost be too hot if the ambient air temperature is warm and it can be not warm enough if the air temperature is really cold so if you are out in the middle of nowhere dude all right this thing has gotten really warm right up on the top it's getting warm on the bottom here as well so i will tell you that if you put your skin against the side with the button that is the warmest. All right, it's getting real hot on the bottom too, man. What I also like about this is one, you can get your hand around it. It's kind of a little bit of Coke bottle shape. And I have medium sized hands. I get my hand around, it, I get my palm warm, I get my fingers on this side to warm them up. But because of the shape, I could also open it up, put it in my inside pocket, put it against my body, Ooh. right? Use it to kind of keep my core warm. I'm telling you, this thing works. In fact, it's always a little hard to demonstrate heat on camera, but what I thought I would do is take my infrared camera and just show you the difference between this and the cool air. Okay, I'm outside and it is a rainy, cold autumn day here. And I have the hand warmer sitting on the concrete patio here. So let's take a look at it through infrared. So there it is. As you might be able to see, it is showing up no problem on infrared. Everything around it is black, obviously less than 62 degrees, but you can see there, uh, even the periphery of it is 97 degrees where it's yellow and where it is red, it is 103 to 110. And then where it is white, kind of right in the middle, where you put your hands, that's 115 degrees. So that is like warm water, a hot shower. So it's pretty nice to be able to have that at your fingertips, keeping your extremities warm on a cold day like this. Totally, this thing is working. That is for sure. This thing is great. It's super simple to power on. I love the fact that you can recharge it in a couple different ways. It's not expensive and it's reusable, so you don't have to worry about having enough of those disposable hand warmers on hand to kind of keep you warm. If you want to pick up this little bad boy, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.